Hey YouTube, today we're going to take care of the tail section of our 1 meter DLG and we're going to start with the foam cores just like this. And in order to start, we need a plan. And in order to get a plan, I usually start with templates just like this, made out of heavy paper. And in order to get the shape here of the stab and the rudder, I just used uh, an image here of the Deviant. I just used the dimensions off that. And with that, I also got the cord length, which means I could go to airfoil.com and then print off some PDFs and just stick them on some aluminum and make these uh, templates for our hot wire cutter, which we're gonna use to cut these uh, foam blocks. Uh, if you don't know how to make a foam block like this, I'll leave a link up above. And now we're off to the hot wire cutter. I much I should mention too, I'm using the HT12 airfoil from uh, airfoil.com for both of these. Uh, it's, it's a symmetrical airfoil, which is really easy. And if you're not familiar with the operation of this uh, hot wire cutter, um, I'll leave a link up above. And uh, I've got a video explaining how how this whole process uh, works here. It's pretty cool and pretty easy. Okay, now let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, just as any other foam cut that we do, we're just looking for like a really nice finish on both top and bottom. Uh, nice, nice thin uh, trailing edge, uh, straight. And uh, every, the leading edge has to get sanded, so we're not too worried about that. Okay, so now we have to trace our template onto our foam core. In this case, it's the horizontal stab. And you just trace it out just like that. And then we're going to get a sharp X-Acto knife and just cut this bad boy out just, just like that. And I always like to also like put a center line marks down here. I just put a series of dots right down the center line. So I have a reference to uh, as far as like when I'm sanding. Uh, now we're just going to sand down. You're going to find that around the tip area, it's really fat because of uh, the way it's cut. And I'm just using this, uh, this scotch bright uh, uh, abrasive pad. It's very, very fine. So it's going to take off it very, very gently and gradually, which is what you want. And after you're done, you're still going to have all your dots, which means you still have the exact same shape as before. And now, as you can see, it's probably squared off on the leading edge. We're gonna use this sanding block here to take care of the leading edge. It's designed just for that purpose. And there's a link in the description if you uh, want more information. Yeah, it really gives you a nice, nice, even like leading edge. And once you've sanded it down so you can see through it, you're done. And let's take a weight on these things. They're super light, like just over a gram each, which is like uh, crazy, crazy, like light. It's the, We're gonna put some more weight on it, don't worry. All right, so now we're gonna take care of the leading edge. We wanna put some 6K carbon toe on the leading edge, and we're gonna use this 0.75 ounce fiberglass as a carrier. And as always, I always spray my fiberglass cloth with lacquer thinner to make it behave properly. And we're gonna spray it down again with some Super 77 adhesive. Uh, now we're gonna take the 6K carbon toe and apply it to that uh, fiberglass cloth that has the uh, adhesive on it. So it'll just stick together here. And then you just put two, two lines. We need two pieces of carbon toe, so two lines. And then after we're done that, we're gonna cut that off into two equal strips, which we're going to apply to the leading edge, in this case, of the rudder. And you just work your way down pretty easy until you get down to maybe about three quarters of the way over. And then we're going to come in here with a little bit more detail work with some tweezers and I put some relief cuts in it like this. And as you can see with the tweezers, you can actually pull down on that fiberglass and make it really taut. So the carbon toe is nice and tight up against the leading edge. It gives you a really nice result. So there you go. That That's what it looks like after you're done. And I also should mention the hinge fabric that we're gonna be using. And that's going to be this nylon coat liner. It's extremely light, really strong. We're just going to hit it with some uh, Super 77 again and stick it on the uh, foam core. 
And I got to admit, I forgot that I should have put this on first and, uh, before the leading edge stuff, but I just lifted it up and tucked it underneath, which is fine. And now for the rest of the materials that we'll be using, uh, I have this 12K uh, pre-preg that I'm gonna be using for my spars. In this case, on the, on the stab, I'm gonna be using one top, one bottom. On the rudder, I'm gonna be using another one, just on one side though, because the other side's gonna be attached to the boom. And I was thinking about actually putting on a carbon fiber, uh, it's kind of skid plate at the bottom here too. We'll see. And also here's the uh, 0.75 ounce uh, fiberglass cloth we'll be using for the skin and the doublers for the, uh, for the flaps. And not to mention the fact that we also need some mylars here. And I found this stuff at the dollar store and it's an incredible deal. It's uh, 0.5 thick millimeters and it's perfect. Uh, it's got a gloss finish. It's made out of polypropylene. You can't go wrong. Pick it up. It's awesome stuff. We're going to be using that for the tail group. And as you can see, I've trimmed out my uh, my mylars here. The leading edge matches up exactly to the template, right? But when you get down to the tips, I kind of wash it out away from the, t uh, the template a bit. Um, that's just because it's so thin there, it really doesn't matter, okay? And plus on top of that, the two layers of fiberglass at the end, actually wicks away excess resin. So it's actually beneficial to do that. Now, in order to, to make this even better, the leading edge needs to be scraped down so it's thinner, so it can actually make that leading edge curve, okay? So we're just gonna take a, an X-Acto blade, a broken one, and we're just gonna scrape it down and to a point where it kind of looks like this. And it's gonna be around half of its original uh, thickness here at the leading edge. And now the only thing we have to do with these mylars, and since they're brand new, uh, I'd like to put at least five coats of this uh, release wax on it, and they will be ready for uh, for when we go to vacuum bag. And here's just the final weight down of what we have. I mean, we only picked up around half a gram of materials here on the cores. And that's it. The next step is to vacuum bag these guys. And uh, as, as always, remember, like, sub, comment, peace.